Hi YouTube, I'm Joey Hollywood, and here we are in Season 3 of Joey's Reviews. That's right, this is the third season of Joey's Reviews. Not the second, not the first, the third. Never mind, let's just get this review over with. I'm starting off Season 3 with Django Unchained. I just saw this. Oh my gosh. Is it an amazing movie? Yes, it is. I have never been to such an awesome movie in my entire life. Like, it's up there with seeing a real window in the theater. That's how awesome I thought this movie was. Every, on every level, it was just great. Like, I, I thought it was gonna be a good movie going into it. I just didn't expect the level of awesomeness that it was. And, you know, I mean, I've heard a lot of people complain. I heard that they say the N-word too much. And yeah, they say the N-word a lot, but come on, guys. Do you realize what time it's time period this is set in? Now, this is just a personal belief of mine. It's not really based on any fact, but personally, I think Quentin Tarantino can't direct action very well. I feel like he's he, he directs dialogue beautifully, but when it comes to action, he just, he kind of tends to go over the top and it feels disjointed. And it's just, it's just something that I personally think about his movies. Perfect examples, Kill Bill, the first one, and Inglorious Bastards. I thought those, those two were just examples of the, the fact that he really can direct action. But you know what? I've, I'm totally eating those words now because the action in this movie, I guess it was over the top, but it, it didn't distract from the rest of the movie. It blended well with the great dialogue in the film and just a truly, truly awesome movie. And I, I feel like he's, he, he kind of took elements of lots of different things. I, I feel, as a matter of fact, I think the opening of the movie was somewhat of, a, somewhat of an homage to Blazing Saddles. There, there's an intro song to this movie that's very, very similar in sound to the intro for Blazing Saddles. I'm not sure if that was intentional or if that's just me piecing things together that aren't there. But, you know, and I, I love Blazing Saddles as much as the next guy, and uh, there was a little, there were some lines that were similar. I don't feel like this is a remake, a serious version of Blazing Saddles, like some people are saying. I, I feel like these are two totally different animals. But yeah, I think the the opening theme, the way it sounded, kind of did reflect back to Blazing Saddles, and I, I I thought that was cool. You know, being a Mel Brooks fan and all. But uh, yeah, this movie just stands alone. I, I've never really seen anything like it. I, it's got elements of westerns and black exploitation, and you know, I, I may, may not be the biggest western fan, but I'm definitely a black exploitation fan. Uh, Shaft, awesome movie. Check it out. Um, although I haven't seen Black Dynamite, everyone's telling me to watch that one. I, I, I don't know. I'm kind of scared of it. But yeah, just truly awesome movie. I want to watch this movie again and again and again. I, I mean, I mean, the movie's long as heck. And I wanted to go back and watch it again. And, you know, I mean, I've heard about people saying that about Star Wars. Well, I wanted to do this with Django Unchained. And if it wasn't for the fact that I am broke, I would be doing it right now instead of watching, instead of making this review. That's right, because you don't mean anything to me. If you haven't seen this already, go out and watch it. Because, you know, th this is kind of like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Just go out and watch this. It's... Truly an awesome experience. I, I felt really treated by this film. Um, sure, I mean, there's a lot of people throwing around complaints about the movie, saying that it was, oh, too violent, or they said the N-word too much. You know, I don't really care. I thought it was good. I felt that it was probably one of the best movies I've ever seen in a theater in my entire life. Um, I recommend it. Check it out. Well, I think that's the end of the review. Um, if you like this review and you want to see others like it, just subscribe to my channel. There's lots of reviews there on lots of movies. Independent films, all the way up to A-list stuff. Uh, say, do you like movies? Do you like movie reviews? Well, check out this website. It's called WeLiveFilm.com. Link's in the description below. They have reviews from people like me and many others. Please rate, comment, subscribe, share. I'll see you next time. Here are the Bruce Campbell facts and quotes of the day. Bye!
Who dat man? He's shaft. He's one bad shit your mouth. Hi, I'm Christopher Walken, and I'm Joey's alternate personality. If you haven't already subscribed to Joey Hollywood Films, I suggest you do it right now. I totally lost the accent. Or voice. Accent. I can only do Christopher Walken's voice when, I, when I'm not trying. If I'm just like, hey, I'm Christopher Walken, and I play video games. I can do it right, right then, because then I don't need to say it. But if I, ha you know, I'm like, oh, I want to I wanna do an outro for my video and support my channel. No, I lose the accent. What's the point of being able to do these people's voices if I can't do it in front of the camera?